Monday morning, they were total strangers. They bumped into each other at lunch, made a record on their coffee break, and by dinner time, they hit the top of the charts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a real warm welcome for Donna Rose and the Magnificence. <laughs> Nice to have you with us, girls. Nice to be here, Johnny. Do I? Do I? <laughs> now, uh, now uh, just where did you girls first meet? Well, well you see, Johnny, Johnny actually, Johnny, Johnny we... we... <laughs> do I? Do I? <laughs> well, you see, Johnny, actually, Johnny, we, uh, we worked at the same factory together, all of us. Oh, I see. What did they make at this factory? Sequins. <laughs> Uh, sequins, huh? Well, I imagine your employers gave you quite a big discount on those guns. <laughs> oh, we didn't have to pay anything for these. Is that right? Well, that, well that, that, they were that generous? No, you see, there was an explosion at the factory. <laughs> an explosion? Yes, we tried everything to get these sequins off, but we couldn't, so we formed a singing group. <laughs> do uh, I, do I. Well, that was certainly an interesting sequence of events. <laughs> Fortunately, our foreman, Moonlights, is a record company exec, and the rest is just showbiz history. <laughs> ah, well, I imagine we'll be hearing a lot more hit records from Don Rose and the Magnificence, huh? No, I'm afraid not, Johnny. You see, we're splitting up. But you've only been together for 24 hours. Well, you see, Johnny, dear, there comes a time in every group when the hit singer has to go out and be a sensation on her own. Boo-ah! Boo-ah! <laughs> well, I hope before you kids split up, you'll do your hit record for oh, us. Of course. Okay, all right, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. A television first and last. Down the Rose and the Magnificence, right here. Without you, babe. Why did you take my car? <laughs> 